I'm John McQuay with 8541 Tactical, and we are out here today at the range to talk to you about a neat little product that we got in from Short Action Precision. This is their run and gun rear bag. And I've been using this for quite a few months now, and it is one of my favorite rear bags to use now. Uh, it's loaded with different features, and the way the bag is designed, uh, you have a lot of options on how to actually use it. Now, obviously, we've got it set up here with our Mega Arms Ma 10 65 Creedmoor, and this is the way I end up using it most of the time. But the Mega Arms rifles or the large frame ARs usually require a little bit more elevation in the rear uh, when you're shooting on the ground. And so we can either roll that on the corner there just to get a little bit more, or if we want a whole lot more, say we're shooting downhill somewhere, uh, then we can drop the guy on the end there and it works great. Uh, now you will notice a couple of things on the running gun bag is we have this uh, nice little uh, non-skid plate here on the bottom. And then on the top, we've got this one inch webbing loop with a quick release. And what this is for is you can fold your bipod legs forward and you can slide your bipod legs through here and allow the bag to hang underneath the fore end of your rifle uh, for shooting on barricades. Or you actually have, when you fully extend it, uh, you have enough there that you can go around the fore end of most rifles if you want to go all the way around the fore end. And on some rifles, like the uh, Ma 10 here, if we really wanted to, we could actually go all the way over the objective of the scope as well and really have a nice soft spot to drop the rifle on uh, if we're shooting on some strange barricade. Uh, this works really well if you're shooting on like antenna sections or crane sections that have a lot of little round tubes. Uh, then these kind of bags really allow those tubes to suck up in there and you get a much broader area to set the rifle on. Uh, really nice and stable. Now this has got, uh, it feels like it's probably those small styrofoam beads as fill in here and it makes the bag really nice and lightweight. Uh, you're not going to notice this hanging on the front of your rifle and you're not going to notice it hanging on your shooting pack all day. Uh, in several of the competitions I've shot so far, uh, they include this nice little tail and you can either get a standard swivel, a QD swivel or no swivel on it and this allows you to snap this into the back of rifles that are equipped with flush cups. Now obviously on the PRS here we don't have any flush cups installed yet uh, but we can switch one of the footman's loops to the other side or keep it on the side it's on and we can use this piece of webbing uh, to loop through that footman's loop and we can keep the bag attached to the rear of the rifle. And this really helps out on those stages where you've got to get set in, you've got you know, your rear bag, you've got everything going on there, and then you have to pick up and move to another stage. Having your bag leashed to your rifle makes it so it's less likely that you're going to drop it or less likely that you're going to leave something in place. I've almost gotten DQ'd from stages before uh, where it wasn't made clear that you had to take everything with you and I ditched a bag in the stage. Uh, so being able to attach it to the rifle uh, is really nice, especially if you need to move from one spot and you need to set up in the next spot. Uh, then it's on the rifle, you already know where to reach for it, you can grab it and throw it underneath. Uh, these bags come in a wide variety of colors. Uh, it's heavy duty, uh, feels like Cordura nylon, uh, probably about a thousand D, maybe a little bit uh, lighter than that. Uh, I think this bag is going to last you quite some time. When we first got it from SAP, uh, they told us to drop, kick it, bang it, throw a knee on it, uh, really mash it around to uh, get it more pliable. And that we did and didn't have any problems with it. Uh, my 180 pound frame dropping a knee on this thing didn't blow out any seams. So I really don't think you're going to pop it uh, by using it. Now, as I mentioned, they are not cheap. Uh, they are $65.99 a piece, uh, depending upon which uh, quick release option you get on the end of it. But in my opinion, I think it's worth it for what you're getting. Uh, this bag has a lot of versatility. Uh, you can use it in a lot of different ways. And with uh, precision rifle competitions being what they are, a lot of the stages are just up to whatever the match director can come up with. So having a versatile piece of gear is a great option. Uh, we will leave a link down below to Short Action Precision so you can check out the bag for yourself. Uh, we can definitely give this a thumbs up. I'm going to end up having to buy a second one 
because Sarah has decided that she really likes this as the bag that she wants to use with her rifle. Uh, so I'm going to have to grab another one and uh, give her this one. Uh, but great piece of gear, uh, really nice, and I can definitely give it a thumbs up. If you guys have liked this video, please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments about the Short Action Precision's run and gun bag, please leave it in the comment section below or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter. And as always, until next time, get out and shoot.